Now you can create custom color themes for use inside your Adobe Captivate projects. Watch. You can see here I have the palette open for theme colors. I'll just open it for you again so you can find it. Go to themes, and then down here at the bottom, theme colors. With the palette open, you'll see that there are a variety of themes available to you. Just click on the menu to drop down and take a look. And you'll notice in the background that instantly I change and apply the themes as I drop down. Now, of course, the most exciting part of this is the ability to uh, work with different themes for your specific projects. So you can uh, actually customize by clicking the Customize button, like so, and then giving this a new name. We'll call this one Green Diagonal 2, just like that. And then I'm going to change this orange into a nice bright green color. And we'll go ahead and save that. With our new green color applied, you can see that the green is now a part of the theme itself. But the fun doesn't stop there. You can also close this and go to a smart learning interaction. Click Interactions, Learning Interaction, and then choose one of the many available smart learning interactions. We'll drop in the accordion interaction. Now, notice when you drop in the interaction, you have the option to choose a custom theme. Notice here, theme colors. You can automatically assign the theme colors, and you can customize those theme colors so that you like the way that those colors come in. One of my favorite features here is I can go in and choose the background color. And notice that there's my theme, but I also have an array of associated colors. So it's pretty easy for me to quickly go in and find the exact tone that I want to work with for my palette. When you're done, just click on OK, and your theme will drop right in with the color included. That's theme colors in Adobe Captivate.